Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new game which is coming out very soon. It does actually say November 17 so hopefully within the next few weeks. But it is called Farmer's Dynasty and this isn't as simple as just jumping into a tractor, planting a field and harvesting it. Oh no, this is a bit more complex than that. What we have to do in this game is actually completely maintain the farm and also almost maintain yourself with, uh, with food and water. So I suppose it's it's like a farming simulation game mixed together with The Sims, I, I suppose you could say that. So you have to actually repair buildings, you have to maintain them, and basically just keep everything up to scratch. So I'm not going to stay on the main menu, we're going to get straight into this. I know that the loading page does take a while, so while it's loading, I will just explain one thing very, very briefly. As far as I'm aware... This is just for the beta stage, but I don't know. This is the beta version of the game. But all of the characters in the game are speaking with like a text-to-speech voice. Um, if you're aware of Microsoft Sam, then that's the same idea. I don't know if this is going to be changed. I don't know if it's just sort of in place while the voice actors are sorted out or if it actually is going to be released like this. I don't know. All I can do is find out from the developers or the publishers and, well, go from there, really. So, yeah, just, uh, that's the only thing I would say to look out for at this early stage. So here we go. Prepare yourself. Hello, I'm your neighbor. My name's Oliver. I've been looking after this farm since your grandfather passed away. Nice to meet you, Oliver. I appreciate your help. So this is my heritage. Yes, this ice farm and piece of land are all yours now. Welcome to our little county. Thanks. I don't know much about farming, but I'm a quick learner. I'm sure you'll fit in just fine. We are all good folk living here, and we help each other out. Please follow me. I'll show you around. Okay, so that's Oliver. Come on. Um, we've just gained an achievement. That's nice. Let's go. So yeah, both the voices are the same, so it's hard to distinguish the two characters. Um, but hopefully, this is just like a, a temporary voice to stand in place. Um, I think he's about to speak. I can't say too much. There's our house, as I'm sure he's going to tell you. Here's your house. The roof needs work, but you can have some sleep here, perhaps, or even store some food. You will have to bring this farm to a good shape yourself. Soon you'll see how to do it. Yeah, so basically we've got to do quite a bit of repair work. The whole place is in poor shape. Uh, it's going to be quite a job though to get it all uh, up and running again. So let's keep following Oliver while he shows us different things. Here's the garage for your vehicle. It's empty now, but I'm sure you'll need it pretty soon. Your grandpa didn't finish the upper floor, but if you can afford building materials, then you can fix the construction yourself. Now this is just the tutorial, so obviously we don't have to follow Oliver around forever. Um, but actually, I have played a bit further on than this, and it does speed up. So just bear with the introduction here, and we'll be let loose doing different objectives. This is your barn. Empty for now, but you can use it to store hay for your animals. Just fix these poles first, or everything will get wet and rot. Hmm. Yep, another, another <laughs> repair job just there. You One of many. Old animals have all been sold. You will have to buy your own. We have to buy our own animals, okay. We really are starting from the ground up here, aren't we? The cow shed is old and needs some work, but it's still solid. You can do the fixes and upgrades yourself. Try fixing both poles first, so your animals stay healthy. I see you've come prepared and have your own tools. Good. Try to fix the door since it's stuck and won't open. Yes, we need to press F1 to do this. We get our hammer out and we can repair these old wooden planks. All right, it should open now. Look at that. Good as new. Come on. Let's go and find the next thing to repair. We can check the map as well. Let me just uh, do this before we progress. You can see there's loads of different places on here. In fact, it's a very detailed map. And if you hover over each field, it tells you a bit of information about it. So it tells you the owner, which currently is uh, not applicable, uh, but also the hectares of each field which I actually really like. I think that is a very good system to show you that. All these other places, train station, place to meet people, trade or ask for work. 
Um, the building depot, you can buy building materials here. So everything you need is located somewhere on this map. And also if you watch him walk past things, he actually pushes things out of the way. Right, press F4 for this. I can put our ladder up. Press E and we can climb. It's a bit unstable up here though. Let's repair things. Is he going to speak? He I'm might do. Up there. Come back when you're done. We need to go. So, this I'll needs go. to be repaired too. Did he just say follow me? I'm not sure. It, oh, he, he has. He's gone. He's gone. Um, wait for me. Wait, ah! Fall off the roof. Right. You can't go without us. We're coming too. You can store harvested grains in the silo, so you can use these later or sell them if you want. Again, Before this can be repaired. Silo, remember to fix it first. We could repair it now. Might as well. Looks sharp. And one more down here. Look at that. Good as new. Take a look at the greenhouse. You can grow some veggies here fast to earn some quick money. Yeah, that is a bit of a state. So your plants can grow to the best effect. I see your grandfather bought some materials to fix it already. You can use it to rebuild the greenhouse as good as you can. Right, so we can actually use these materials here, as he said. Picked up a panel and we can hammer it into place, repairing it as we go. We're obviously not going to do the entire thing now, but we can make a quick start. And what a difference it makes as well. Look at that. We'll do a bit on the front, just over here. New quest. Home sweet home. Repair all the farm buildings. You have a sit down. This. I'm sure you'll do well on this farm. Thank you. Actually, I might have a job for you myself. Oh. Um, what is it? Why don't you come to my place and do some fixes to my barn? It's most roof that needs work, but some walls need attention too. I don't have much money, but I'll give you my old tractor as a reward. I'm sure you can use it. Oh yeah, we'll take an old tractor. Definitely, sounds good. Sounds good. I'll take care of this. Alright, I'm going back home now. Good luck, and see you around. We're going to follow him, because we're going to go over to his old barn, which is just over here. I'm going to set the marker. We'll race him up the hill. And we're going to go and repair it. Because in return for this, as you've probably just heard, we get an old tractor providing we do it properly. Uh, we also gain social points and money for some jobs as well. So here's a quick look around at the environment. You can see it looks pretty good. Nice tall crop of wheat or barley here. At least I assume it's wheat or barley. So this is his farm, just at the top of the... Well, the hill, I suppose you could call it. Just about. And that must be his barn, just over there. So we're going to have to get our ladder out. We're going to have to climb up here and get it repaired. This is going to be quite a big job, so I'm going to do a very, very, yeah, I'm going to do a quick time lapse of this, um, so that we can get it done in a very short period of time, because we've got lots to do in this first video, and one of those is not falling off the roof. So I'll get my hammer out, and we will begin. I'll just get this one repaired first. You can also hold down right click or right mouse button and it will show you exactly the areas which need to be repaired. It isn't just the roof, there is a tiny bit downstairs as well. We've got to repair two walls around the door 
Uh, basically, just, just a few bricks missing, which need to be put in place. And there we go. The entire barn has been repaired. So if I just go in here, I'll put the hammer away, press E to open the doors, um, we'll run right through. Try and find Oliver. Ah, here he is. Looking good and solid. Thank you. Now I don't have much money, but as promised that John Deere over there is all yours. It should do well until you can afford a real new tractor, but you can total start field work now. Yup, my funds are kind short, but I think I'll need more farming machines. You should talk to people, I'm sure a lot of them will have some work for you too. You'll need a plow, a cedar perhaps, and I've seen a cultivator already on your farm. Good luck with farming. I will look around, thank you. So we have a nice old tractor, which we've just acquired for repairing the barn. And here it is. A John Deere. Let's give it a drive. Nice. Look at this go. Do 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 do. Lovely. This is going to be useful. We're going to have to put the cultivator on the back, which we apparently start off with. Um, it is indeed branded as a John Deere as well which is nice to see pretty detailed as well but very old um, but I should think it's actually worth quite a bit got a bit of a rarity value so uh, yeah let me just go on to here uh, I would like to see actually let me, just, let me just jump off again we don't need to have the engine running um, yeah there is a church that's our house obviously um, you notice a stranger by the road. He clearly wants something from you. Talk to him. So that's probably another way of getting um, either just social points or also some money as well if he's got a job for us. Uh, I, I don't know if you can teleport. Can you teleport? I don't think you can. That's actually pretty good because I don't want to teleport. We're going to drive with the uh, the tractor. There is a new vehicle store there, which I'm, I think we might go to. I would quite like to see what equipment is available to us in the future. So let's go. It's not running extremely smoothly, the uh, tractor. But maybe it's just supposed to be like this, it might be. Oh, it's leaving tire marks too. Here we are back at our own farm. And this is where we can continue with the quest if we want to. Which we might do. But first of all, I would like to just do a very, very quick tour. It isn't going to be a tour of the entire map. It'll just take way too long. Um, but like I said, I would love to go over to the machinery dealer just to see exactly what is on offer to us in the future uh, when we have progressed far enough to be able to afford something new. Uh, this must be where the other quest is. Home sweet home, I assume it is. I think it is, yeah. So if we go back on here, it is. So what we need to do is put a marker on that tractor over there. We'll drive over and see what they've got. Here's some water over here, that looks quite nice. It does actually seem to be quite a detailed game. There is a high level of detail. Uh, not only the environment, but actually, these. well this tractor is the first one I've seen. Um, you can see there's been some effort put into it. Decent textures. I think the sound is, well it sounds like what you'd expect it to sound like. I've never actually heard one of these in real life. Uh, so I can't say for sure, but it sounds um, authentic. And it's nice that we start off with something very old and small instead of having the biggest tractors right from the start. 
Now, I wonder if you have to repair tractors as well. I don't know about that. It would be interesting to know. Um, now, before I do go too much further, actually, I will just show you one more thing. That's a new quest just appeared. You notice an old harvester by the farm up the hill. Talk to the owner and ask if you can get it somehow. <laughs> can I have your harvester? Yeah, probably in exchange for a job. That would be fair. Um, but yes, let me just um, let me just jump off here again. I'm gonna press tab, and you can see our condition here. The condition depends on both eating and sleeping. Keep your condition high to feel and work better. So we do start off with some food. We have an apple, fresh food, tasty but little nutritional value. Little nutritional value in apples. Hmm. Um, tomatoes, milk. Fish and tomato sauce, that sounds nice, and condensed milk. Not being sarcastic, by the way, I actually do like fish and tomato sauce. Um, in fact, I like everything on there, so they know me well. Anyway, let's just go further over here until we get to the shop. Ah, here is the harvester, which was uh, being referred to in that quest. And it is old. Is that supposed to be Matthew Ferguson? I don't know. Looks like it might be. It's very hard to say. Uh, but let's keep going. I've sort of lost the track which I was following. So, oh, look at that. That is one futuristic dealer. It's a bit like a mushroom. Anyway, every field seems to be uh, ripe. The bigger harvest must be starting soon. I would like to do some harvesting. If we, maybe, maybe the quest is to harvest their field and we get to keep the harvester, which would be incredibly generous. But if we're not getting paid for it, then it makes sense. That just seems to be the way that everybody works around here. They don't want to pay you, but they'll give you a machine. <laughs> I think I'd probably go with the machine. Worth way more than just a few hours work. Well, here we are, the farm machine, what does it say, farm machinery. Got some tractors outside. We just roll up in this thing. Looking at it, they've got some decent brands here. I don't know what... Oh, that's Linda. Nice. So we've got Linda. We've got over here the Amazon. Or Amazon, however you want to call it. Uh, Genius 3002. Uh, we've got the uh, Flegel, got a Flegel trailer, another Flegel just here. I think these are Flegel as well. Yes, they are. So got some flatbed trailers. Uh, is it possible to view what they've actually got available? I may just have to jump cut here, just so I can uh, figure out how to actually get into the dealership. Nope, that's my tractor. So what does it say? Just farm machinery, okay. Um, so maybe this is all that's available to us at the moment because you can actually go up to each piece and buy them if we could afford them, which we can't do. Uh, in fact, what do we have? We hit uh, 1600. What do we have? 100? I don't know. No, it's a ZPW 100. I, I don't know. Uh, 520 we have, okay, which is okay for this stage. But there you go, that's some new machinery. Lindner, Amazon and Flegel. And John Deere, just here. Well I suppose the most obvious thing to do now is to go and try and get their harvester. We'll try and claim it for ourselves. Um, I just hope that we can actually do some harvesting with it at this stage. I really do hope that we can do. You can see when we drive over the, the grass over here, it's actually uh, sort of brushing it out of the way. I'll show you over here. Should be a bit more obvious. There you go. You can see we're driving through it. And here is the old harvester. We won't drive up to their front door in the tractor. They might wonder what's going on. Right. Hello. Hello, mister. I am Janet. Have we met? No. 
I'm your neighbor. I live just across that lake. Moved in not long ago. Hey, we just moved into. Got this farm and greenhouse to start a tomato business. But it is such a mess. I feel cheated. The greenhouse is a ruin. So is ours. I guess I can help you restore these. Can you now? That would be so great. But I don't have much money to pay you. My voice is broke. What about that harvester over there? I think it's worth the effort. I can take it for exchange. This sounds great. We had no use for it anyway. We wish to plant tomatoes. Don't own any fields. Town. In this case, I'm gone and I will fix your greenhouses in exchange for that harvester. The lady's voice just turned into a man. What about that barn over there? Can you fix it too? I'll add the header to sweeten the deal. Yeah, interesting. Um, a lot of work, but it's worth it. Or, that's too much for me, I think I'll pass. Hmm. No, we'll a take it. work, but it's worth it. Right, so we've received 50 social points for doing that. Now all we have to do is all the work. Great. Right, so if we press right... Oh, wow, that is a lot of work. Good grief, it is a lot of work. Uh, okay, okay. Um, let's just... Let's just start. That'll be the safest idea. Get it done. Not quite sure I knew what I was getting into here, but this has taken forever. We've just pretty much finished the first greenhouse. There is still a few areas on here which are full of holes and rotten stuff. Uh, but I think it is just the skirt down here which is just uh, the finishing off point. But there is still two more buildings to do. So, I think we're going to probably return to Janet in the future um, to do a bit more. This is plenty for the time being. Obviously in the video, it's going to feel like nothing at all. But actually, I don't know how long I've been doing it. It's probably about 25 minutes per building, maybe half an hour. Is it, oh, it's still another one over here. Loads of stuff, and there's an awful lot of clicking to do. Left clicking. Is that everything done? I think it might be. Oh, the door. There we go. We have had to eat as well. We've eaten two apples while we're doing this uh, to keep the condition up. Uh, Janet is well. Janet has a straight face. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Okay, we will. Uh, don't you like what I've just done? I have almost broken my back doing this. I only fell through the roof twice, and that was a very big drop. So uh, yeah, that's what it looks like when you've done it. That's what this one still looks like. I think actually we have started off with the largest building here. Or is it just two? There could just be two. Uh, so, <laughs> we'll, uh, we will continue next time. There we go. Nice finished one and one ready to be done. So that is just a very brief look at uh, Farmer's Dynasty. I'm hoping to return in the next few days or so with the first episode, although this is still technically an episode, it's just going to be called the First Look Video. Uh, and we're all working towards getting this harvester for our fields. So thank you so much for watching. Also a big thank you to the developers and publishers for sending me the beta version of the game. And honestly I think it, it is it's got a lot of potential. The only thing I don't like is the voices. I, I just think that um, well, I'm hoping that that is just uh, like a, a temporary voice. But otherwise it seems to be a really fun game with lots of stuff to do. It's not just a case of plowing the land you've got loads and loads of stuff to manage uh so yeah until next time thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again soon bye for now